Perry. I am the uh, Community Relations Director with the Maryland SPCA, and on today's Lunch and Learn, we're gonna talk a little bit about our Kibble Connection Food Pantry. Many of you may have seen in the past some of our updates, but we thought this would be a really good time to talk about how the Kibble Connection Pantry kind of came to be, its history, and uh, where we are now. So I wanna start off with talking a little bit about, again, how the Kibble Connection Food Pantry came to be. In about 2009, uh, when we know the economy wasn't doing so well, we did have a concern that we would start to see more animals come into shelters, and we sort of looked around in our community to say, how could we help? At that time, one of our board members pointed out that uh, she also worked with a great organization called Meals on Wheels, and that she was learning that maybe some of those clients were sharing their people meal with their pet. And we all thought, no, this is not okay. We wanted to make sure that people and pets in our community were getting the nutrition that they needed. So we partnered up with Meals on Wheels to start the Kibble Connection Food Pantry. And what that means is we have a list of clients every month that have pets at home, and we collect food at the Maryland SPCA, and then the Meals on Wheels volunteers stop in, pick up their route, and deliver that food to homebound senior citizens. We currently have over 150 people on that service, and we're currently helping more than 300 animals just in that part of Kibble Connection, which is amazing. But when COVID-19 hit, we knew things were gonna get worse. People were having trouble um, taking care of themselves, let alone being able to take care of their pets. And we knew we needed to step in and make sure animals in our community were getting the nutrition that they needed. So we branched out with Kibble Connection to start offering donations to our community at large. We started this right around the middle of March. And as of today, we have helped over 1,041 animals make sure they have food at homes, which is absolutely incredible. But we know that that need is even more. We've talked a lot about the history of how Kibble Connection came to be, but we want to make sure we're also letting anyone out there in the audience know that if they do need pet food for their animals, they can still contact us and we will help them. If you go to www.mdspca.org slash pet food, there's a form that you can fill out. Someone will contact you within about 48 hours to schedule uh, you coming to the shelter and picking up the food. So please feel free to do that if anybody still needs pet food assistance. So I want to show you some really exciting things that are actually happening today. So why don't you come on outside with me and I'll show you what's going on. So I'm out here in our brand new warehouse that was provided to us by an amazing organization called Prologus. We are accepting 26 pallets of pet supplies from Greater Good another incredible organization and one of our community partners. Greater Good is working with Chewy, which many of you know of, and they really made this possible. We also had our amazing Troy from Alliance Fire Protection here to help us use our pallet jack to move all of these pallets into this warehouse. So come on over with me and we'll check out some of the amazing things that we got. This so far is all the pet food and dog food that we have. This will not only help people at our shelter as we still will pass out food, but this will enable us to help groups across our state make sure their pet food pantries are filled. So this is just some of the dog food. Come on over here and let's check out this amazing pallet. You know, a couple people have said to me today that this feels like Christmas morning, and it truly does for the Maryland SPCA and the pets that are in our community. Without the support, we wouldn't be able to do many of the things that we do. And if some of you are lifesavers or faithful friends, you may have read the story that we put out last month about the um, Kibble Connection Food Pantry, but again, this is even growing more. I can't tell you how amazing this is to see all of this pet food. I even see some things like um, litter and step stools. I know way over here we have some beds. And what's happening is we have amazing volunteers and some of our staff here today to help start sorting all of this so that we know what we have and we can make sure that we're providing supplies to any of the groups and the people in our community that may need it. But that also doesn't mean we're not doing what we're doing at the shelter. So when I mentioned before that we are meeting members of the community to pick up supplies if they are needed, people can still do that. This is sort of adding on to what we're already doing, which is incredible. It also doesn't mean that we still don't need support. So if you're interested, you can still donate from our Amazon wish list. We always accept monetary donations, and all of this will go to helping pets and people in our community 
and ensuring that the pets that are living in our community get the nutrition that they need and get the safety and comfort that they need. This is another amazing example of it take a village to really help our world. Not only our supporters helping us, but our community partners are helping us. And we've all come together to make sure pets are happy. Um, so I'm Annie Pruitt. I am the executive director of Charm City Companions. And uh, we've been invited to uh, the warehouse uh, that Maryland SPCA has secured to um, take in a very large donation from um, Chewy. And um, as always of late, uh, we have a beautiful relationship and we have been invited to go shopping. So I'm really excited to be here today at the warehouse. Um, I've been given a little tour. Um, things are being divided up very carefully um, because, you know, when we get donations, a lot of times we'll get things like prescription cat food or things like that that we really don't need or can't use. Um, this way, Today, we've been um, invited to come in and select exactly what we need. So we take into consideration what's happening with our clients. What are their special needs? Do we have senior pets? Do we have sick pets? Do we have you know just young, healthy puppies that need a good, um, healthy pet food? Um, we can pick that out. Our clients who we're taking this food to um, are living in Baltimore City's most impoverished neighborhoods. Um, most of the neighborhoods and uh, blocks that we work on, between 50 and 90% of the people live at or below the poverty level. So it's a really, really tough time for this audience in particular. Um, it's a vulnerable population, and so we're just encouraging people to stay in, be safe, um, you know, wash your hands for the half a minute or more or whatever it takes and um, if you need anything call us and we have gotten a lot of calls so um, we're grateful to Maryland SPCA for pretty much being the sole provider of uh, food and supply donations for us at this time and um, they're always available, always reliable and supportive of our mission to get you know these nutrients out into the community so everybody's safe and well. So thank you. We really have to thank all of the amazing organizations that have helped to make this possible. Thank you so much to Nestle Purina, to Safeway, to Amazon, to VCA Hospitals, to each and every individual who has made a monetary donation or ordered from our wish list. We also have to thank Prologus, Reliance Fire Protection, Greater Good, and Chewy for making this huge donation of food possible today. It is so important to our mission to help pets and people in our community, and it's truly, truly amazing. But we can always still use support. If you're interested in making a donation, you can go to our website at www.mdspca.org slash kibble connection donation to make a monetary donation. You can also go to our Amazon wish list. And again, we cannot thank you enough and thank everybody who has helped to make the Kibble Connection Food Pantry a great success. Thank you so much for joining me for today's Lunch and Learn. We will continue to provide you with updates. Thank you, thank you, thank you.